Hello viewers, welcome to my channel. And today's topic is Meniere's disease. Well, Meniere's disease is a disorder of the flu of the fluids in the inner ear. And uh, its cause is uh, unknown. And, uh, but it probably results from the abnormality in, a, in the way the fluid of the inner ear is regulated. And uh, in most cases, the only one ear is involved. Uh, but both ears may be affected uh, in about 15% of the cases, you know. Now, I mean, this disease typically starts between the ages of 20 and 50. And uh, the men and women are equally affected, and the symptoms may be only a minor nuisance, you know, and uh, it can become disabling sometimes, you know. So the symptoms vary from person to person, you know. And especially if the uh, attacks of the vertigo are severe, you know, uh, frequent and uh, occur without any warning, you know, then it's very uh, distressing and uh, annoying, you know. And uh, meniere's disease is uh, also called the idiopathic uh, endolymphatic uh, high drops, you know. So this is the medical name of the meniere's disease, you know. Uh, now the symptoms include like uh, uh, episodic rotational vertigo, you know, or tinnitus or hearing loss and uh, uh, earfulness, you know. So these are the common signs and the symptoms of the Meniere's disease. Now the next thing is uh, uh, diagnosis, you know. Well, the diagnosis of the Meniere's disease is uh, primarily made from the history and the physical examination and the tinnitus or the earfulness need to be present to make the diagnosis. Now, ideogram uh, is uh, helpful to show the hearing loss, you know, and uh, to rule out other diagnosis, you know, like uh, other abnormalities, in fact, you know. And it's often helpful, uh, and it can be done, you know, uh, uh, by the audiologist, you know, the doctor who deals with the uh, hearing aids and all that stuff. And uh, the other tests such as the audiometry brainstem response, so which is known as ABR, you know, and the computerized test of the hearing nerves and the brain pathways, you know, CT scan, magnetic resonance imaging may be needed, you know. And uh, once it's diagnosed, then the treatment is uh, like the medications, you know, like uh, water pills are known as diuretics, you know. Combined with the, the low salt diet uh, is the primary treatment of Meniere's disease, and uh, the anti-vertigo medication such as uh, uh, maclizine or Menid, you know, and other uh, things to control the vertigo. You know, so that's a feeling of spinningness. You know, and uh, anti-nausea medications. You know, and uh, uh, air pulse generator is another treatment option. You know. And in some patients, the uh, periodic delivery of the small air pulse is transmitted through the tube which is placed uh, in the eardrum has been some uh, variable success, you know. And the surgery uh, is another option uh, if vertigo attacks are not controlled by the medications, you know. And so surgery is another option, you know. Uh, thank you very much for watching this video. If you need more information about any disease, any medical condition, you can visit our website www.diseasesandtreatment.com and please do not uh, forget to subscribe to this channel for more informative videos every day. Thank you. Goodbye.